Okay guys, I did it. Uh, I went ahead and poured my epoxy and it was tough. It's not easy. You can see this came out a lot different than my sample panel, which I had planned on making differences, but not these differences. Um, I'm, it didn't come out the way I wanted it, but I'm gonna live with it just because I have no desire to do it again. I still have to put the clear coat on top or the final flood coat on top. I mean, you can see it's kind of interesting, but it also kind of looks like a kid playing with paint like I was afraid of. Um, parts of it I really like, parts of it I don't. Um, you know, this vein I like, and this one not so much. I tried to put white in later in the game and it just couldn't get it, uh, couldn't get it in good. But um, some of the things they don't tell you, or maybe aren't as, they probably tell you, but they aren't as obvious, are sanding these edges. These square edges are tough, and I'm not a big fan of the way the edge comes out. It kind of looks like you know, drip run paint. And what I did was I didn't know whether I should sand this edge heavily or not, and then I sanded a little bit, and then I primed it all, as you know, but then I think in the end I sanded the primer off by accident too much. I should have rounded it more heavily. So now you can see my laminate edge in there and the white didn't even cover it. Now that's one mistake I made. The very initial mistake I made was my mixing process. This dye that they give you, they kind of tote it as being very potent um, and they show you a couple drops goes a long way. Well, the first time I used it on my sample board, as you saw, it came out really white and good. I used like a big chunk of that dye in a small amount. And that came out good, it, it got really white. This one, I backed off, I didn't use as much because they kind of claimed that a couple drops will turn a half gallon all white. Well, I did more than a couple drops. I did a couple big drops because I poured it out of the bottle, not the dropper. And I mixed it in thinking I was gonna be solid white, poured it on and it was translucent gray. That's where my big mistake started. So when I poured this whole thing, I had this translucent product that showed my primer gray straight through and I did not have white. So I was panicking from the first moment that I poured it on. So then it became a rat race to try to correct it. And there was, as, as you can see, no real correction because, I mean, it looks more natural and marbly. And that's probably good for many people, but I guess I was after the stark white marbly look. Um, and that's just personal preference. So. I mean, I have to say this looks more real marble-wise. Like if you look at it real close, like that pattern there does look very marbly. It's more translucent, not stark white. And I could see that why they coach you away from stark white because it's less natural. I just happened to fall in love with my sample panel and wanted that bright white. So those are things you gotta keep in mind. If you really want the color to kick, you better use more of that dye. Um, it's fairly inexpensive, so don't back off on that. I imagine the blacks are easier to make dark, but white and translucent are harder. But um, it makes a massive mess. I mean, I'm dripping epoxy everywhere. It was on the floor. I had to put this paper down after the fact because the floor was all sticky. So those are the things you got to keep in mind. It is a massive mess. You know, epoxy on my drill, epoxy on my shoes, epoxy everywhere. And then the paint fumes from spraying were horrendous. You know, we didn't even sleep in this bedroom adjacent to this bathroom because it stunk so much. As you can see, I had a fan running forever. Of course, the weather turned horrible, which it never does in Florida. It was wet and rainy and damp and windy, which all those combined make it like the worst possible day I could have put epoxy on. But anyway, um, I'm gonna live with this and I gotta get this bathroom wrapped back up. Again, this was my practice for the kitchen. I kind of think I know what I wanna do now. I'm not gonna spray the cans as much. They stink way too much. I'm gonna make my own gray epoxy this time and I'll use some of the metallics and I'll use the uh, paint sticks and brushes to put my lines in and then play with them. And I'll go starker white with my dye, heavier on the dye. All right, that's my latest update. Uh, you can, I'll show you when the whole thing's done and uh, bathroom puts back together and we'll see what it looks like. Talk to you later.